morning. It is Monday, February 8th, and I haven't sat down to do a vlog in a very long time. I haven't sat down to do a vlog since Vlogmas, which was a long time ago. Doesn't feel like a long time ago, but time has no meaning anymore, so <laughs> really it was like more than a month ago. But anyway, I want to get back into doing my vlogs and um yeah just getting back into sharing things with you so in the new year i made the goal to be more healthy and to lose weight shocker <laughs> just like everyone else in the world i just feel like over this past year with coronavirus i've just kind of been in a slump and kind of like i don't know i just want to say like not sad but just kind of like numb <laughs> Like, I think we're all so overwhelmed with everything that you don't really even have the energy or time to think about, like, taking care of yourself and your general well-being because you're just worried about, you know, the coronavirus and everything surrounding it. So this year, I want to kind of get back on track with my health because I feel like I lost that over the past year and I've gained weight. I've just formed unhealthy eating habits and unhealthy drinking habits like i didn't used to drink during the week but this past year i've started drinking like a glass of wine with dinner every day which just adds calories and i also feel like it gives me less energy at night if i have a glass of wine i'm like tired and i don't feel like doing anything or exercising or anything like that so i've started forming better habits and over the past month i've lost like five pounds so i'm happy about that the main difference now is i don't drink during the week i only drink on the weekends and over the weekends i only allow myself to have a bottle of wine so that has to last me from like friday through sunday <laughs> and I've changed my eating habits so I don't get takeout during the week anymore. I make all of my meals, I make them healthy, and I'm not eating um, snacks that are bad for me and not eating sweets during the week. So far it's been working. I've also been exercising five times a week. I do running slash walking three times a week. I'm actually doing couch to 5k which kind of helps you start from the beginning obviously from your couch <laughs> and you start running in small increments at a time so i started at like i think it was like a minute that you have to run and then the rest is like walking and right now i can run 20 minutes straight so i'm very proud of that because i'm the least athletic person ever and never thought i would be able to run more than a minute so I'm very proud about that. <laughs> the goal for Couch 5K is to be able to run for 30 minutes straight. And I think I'll be there in like three weeks. This week, I think I'm gonna be up to 22 minutes straight. So looking forward to that. And then the other two days a week, I do Pure Bar Go, which is Pure Bar streaming service. Um, you have to pay for it, but I think it's really good. Like I used to do dance when I was younger in high school which seems like yesterday but was actually <laughs> quite a while ago it's similar to that like it's similar movements you're exercising similar muscles and obviously you use a bar so that's kind of familiar and i like how it's structured like all the classes are structured similarly so you know what to expect but then they kind of switch it up um within that structure so it's very similar to a dance class um in that way so I like it a lot, but I do that twice a week and I feel like it just helps me tone my muscles, whereas the running helps me with my cardio. But another wrench in the whole exercise thing was this past year, I was diagnosed with a heart, I don't know what you would call it. It's not a heart condition, like a heart arrhythmia um, called SVT, supraventricular tachycardia. That is just like, a thing with my heart where I'll have episodes where it will race like randomly and then will suddenly stop racing so it can go up to like 200 beats per minute and um, it's just kind of jarring but one of the things that would trigger it was exercise so I was scared to exercise because I didn't want to trigger one of those episodes 
So this past year I decided to do something about that because I wanted to get back into exercising and just be healthier. I've had this since like high school but I've never really done anything about it. I saw someone for it like back in college but they never were able to catch the heart thing happening on a monitor. So since I'm working from home now, I was able to just wear a heart monitor for a couple of months and not have it be like distracting because I don't have to, you know, go to work and wear work clothes and stuff. So it was actually really convenient to do it during this time. But I wore a heart monitor for a couple of months and they were able to catch the arrhythmia and were able to diagnose it. So I'm glad to know that that's what it is because it's not life-threatening, it's not serious, but um, it is just annoying. So I started taking medicine for that and I feel like it actually really has helped me. Um, I've noticed when I run, it takes me more exertion to get my heart rate up to the same rate it was when I was just say walking on the treadmill before and I don't get the episodes anymore when I exercise so that's been really nice and I'm very happy I found a solution for that and hopefully it keeps working <laughs> so yeah those are the main changes I've made they've been working for me so far I'm happy with how they're going and I generally just feel better it is true that exercise and eating healthy <laughs> makes you feel better internally, emotionally. It's just been better, so I'm happy about that. But also, last week and then this week, I've been trying something else to kind of add to my weight loss <laughs> because um, I wanted to lose more weight more quickly, which I don't know if that's a great idea, but anyway, I... <laughs> discovered this diet book called body reset i'm pretty sure he's like a celebrity trainer something obnoxious but um the guy who wrote the book has like a bunch of smoothie recipes in there and other recipes and just general tips about how to lose weight the whole thing is it's like a specific diet where you only eat smoothies for like your three meals a day for five days and then the next five days you eat smoothies for two meals a day and then you eat a normal meal for dinner and then the final week is um you eat a smoothie for breakfast and then that's kind of how you um continue on your diet it's just a smoothie for breakfast and two meals a day after that so i knew i was not going to be able to do three smoothies a day that's just not possible <laughs> so what i'm doing now is two smoothies a day plus my meal for dinner and he also allows two snacks a day but he has like specific snacks in the book that you can um choose from and i think they're like fiber combined with a protein so what i usually do is i eat triscuits like the thin triscuits with those soft like cheese triangles as my first snack of the day in between breakfast and lunch and then in between lunch and dinner i eat carrots or celery with hummus and that's been working well for me there's like a bunch of different snacks in there um to choose from so i'll probably pick some other ones as i go along i've been doing the two smoothies a day plus the meal and i thought it would be more hungry than i am but I'm actually not. I think the snacks help push you through and the smoothies are actually pretty filling. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'm probably going to have a smoothie shortly. Ben's coming back with the groceries. He got groceries picked up um, and I'm out of like enough ingredients to make a smoothie. So I've had my coffee. It's late morning now. I've done some work from home and I'll probably eat my smoothie and then probably have a late smoothie lunch then because um it's late morning now so it kind of it's gonna push my whole schedule back but that's okay so yeah that is where i am now trying to form healthy habits and just be better the kiddo please <laughs> hey sweetie hey ben got back with the groceries so i'm going to make my smoothie now I'm going to make the recipe that's called, I feel like I'm blurry, there we go, um, it's called Red Smoothie. It's one cup of raspberries, a fourth a cup of blueberries, one scoop of vanilla protein powder, a half of an orange, and one tablespoon of flaxseed. Flaxseed or flaxseeds? 
I don't know what it's called. But those are the ingredients. Here's the finished product. It's a bright pink color, even though it's called Red Smoothie. It's kind of more pink, but it's one of my favorites in the recipe book. That's pretty thick. Maybe I should have added more water. But yeah, one of my favorites. I found my favorites are the ones that have raspberries in them, just because I really like raspberries. And there's also one in there called PB and J Smoothie. That I really like and that has strawberries and bananas in it and other things but yeah those have been my favorites this one I think though is very filling maybe because of the protein powder in it um but yeah I'm gonna drink my smoothie and keep on working I'm in my office now it's a little bit later it's around 12 30 but because I had my breakfast smoothie late I'm kind of like behind now so I'm eating my snack now. Like I said, it's just Triscuits, the thin type of Triscuits with the soft cheese triangles. Um, I forget what they're called right now. Maybe Baby Bell? I really don't remember. But yeah, so this is the protein. This is the five. And that's my snack. And then I'll probably have another smoothie like in an hour or two. So maybe around 1.30 or 2 o'clock. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna eat my snack now and continue on with my work day. It's around two o'clock now, so I am going to make my second smoothie of the day. Whoa, it's very bright. I don't really know which one I want though. Maybe I'll make that strawberry one. PB and J. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So this one is called PB and J smoothie. It has two cups of frozen strawberries or fresh strawberries one frozen banana, two teaspoons peanut butter, four ounces Greek yogurt or fat-free milk, and a half a cup of ice cubes. So it's pretty simple, um, but it's really good. For the bananas, I just cut up the bananas before I put them in the freezer and put them into Ziploc baggies and froze them just because it's hard to cut a banana if you just freeze it whole. And then Strawberries. I'm using these bowl frozen strawberries. And here is the final product. It's like a pastel pink color. And I'm gonna eat it and go back to work now. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think that's one of my favorite smoothie recipes in the book. It tastes kind of like a traditional strawberry banana milkshake which is probably why i like it the best because it's the least foreign to me but it also just tastes like it's mostly just strawberry banana but i also like the fact that there's ice in it because it just makes it extra cold and extra smooth tasting so i wonder if maybe i can add ice to some of the other smoothies to give them that similar effect but anyway i'm gonna keep drinking my smoothie and go back to work it is later on now it's around 4 30 and i'm having my second snack which is carrots and hummus i don't know how much hummus that is i think it's maybe like three tablespoons as well as a lime lacroix i didn't used to be a fan of the lacroix ben drinks them but I actually like the lime LaCroix flavor. I don't like any of the other flavors except for the lime. Um, but that's because I think I just like lime in general. Like, just eating a lime itself, I like. <laughs> so, I'm a fan of the lime LaCroix. And that's about it. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my snack now and continue on with my day. I only have about maybe an hour and a half of work left. Maybe two. We'll see. I don't know, I might get too hungry, so I might have to stop <laughs> just to make dinner and then maybe do some work later on. But I don't know, I prefer to just get it all done now so I don't have it hanging over my head later. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to get it done in the next two hours or so. It's around 6.30 now. 
I'm done with work and I'm about to make dinner. I am making a new recipe that I've never made before from Chrissy Teigen's Cravings book and it's called Pad Grapau Chicken. It's basically um, just a Thai basil chicken. Ben and I get this when we get Thai food um, takeout. So I figured we'd try to make it ourselves, or I would try to make it myself because Ben's at class now. Um, but this recipe only has chicken, rice, and basil leaves. And when we get it out, it usually comes with vegetables. So I bought some vegetables just to mix in with everything. Um, I got green beans, carrots and red and green peppers so this is the recipe and i'm gonna get started so far i have the rice on and it's boiling oh i have it on the wrong setting <laughs> it's a small pan not a large and now i'm gonna get started with everything else so um i think i have to cut up the chicken first here's all the veggies cut up i got green pepper red pepper green beans i thought i had carrots and i wanted to put carrots in it but I only have baby carrots, so I'm just going to leave those out because I don't think I need them. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I don't know if it's gonna be spicy enough, but when I added all the vegetables and the basil in, like it just smells amazing. And here's the final result. The rice is underneath all of that, but it smells really good. I'm excited to eat it. That grapau was so good. I would definitely make it again. The only thing I would change if I made it again, because I added the vegetables, I think I would add twice the amount of soy sauce and oyster sauce that it calls for just because I feel like there wasn't enough sauce because I added more volume obviously so there wasn't enough sauce to cover it all or there was to cover it but just not enough left over like to put on top of the rice and stuff like that so I would change that if I made it again but other than that it was great and I'm excited to eat it again tomorrow because I have leftovers. But now I'm getting ready to do my workout. I'm doing my couch to 5k workout today. I think, let me check my app. I don't know what, how long I run for today. Let me check. So here's my couch to 5k app. So today it's a little different. I think it's working up to do 22 minutes at the end of the week. Let me see. Yeah. So on day three of this week, I would be doing 22 minutes, but for day one of this week, I do a five minute warm up, jog for five minutes, walk for three, jog for eight, walk for three, jog for five. So I feel like that should be easy. Now that I can run 20 minutes at a time, I feel like I can do anything. <laughs> Watch, I won't be able to do this now. I will have jinxed myself. I read online that whenever you work out, you should take your makeup off because I started getting pimples I don't know if you can see it like right here and I haven't broken out in a long time and the only thing that's really changed is I've started working out so I looked up online tips and they said to remove your makeup before you work out and then wash your face after you work out to avoid getting pimples so am I getting a pimple here too I can't tell so yeah I'm gonna take off all my makeup and then do my workout using my trusted Clinique take the day off ball all right so i'm on my treadmill <laughs> and i always watch youtube videos on my ipad on the side there i guess i could put it down there but i kind of like to look up when i'm running if that makes sense but i'm going to watch um a youtube video like i always do i've been really into disney in detail recently she has a ton of disney vlogs and they are very detailed as she says <laughs> but um yeah she just does a good a really good job so i've been liking watching her because you know i can't go anywhere now because of coronavirus so i like to watch vlogs where people are going places and doing things so i can feel like <laughs> I'm going places and doing things too. I'm gonna watch this one. I already started watching it the other day, so I'm like halfway through, but 
picking up where I left off and here we go. That's her laser. She's like cuddling with it. <laughs> You're so cute. You want me to turn your laser on? Yeah? You want your laser? <laughs> She's so cute. I'm so cute. She's so cute. There you go. I turned it on for you. You wanna play with it? Huh? I think sometimes she just likes to lay next to it because she loves it so much. <laughs> what? You took it right off. I am done with my workout now. My face is very red. I guess that's a good sign that I got a good workout in. Um, but I'm gonna take a shower now, get all the sweat off of me, and probably just get ready to go to bed. I'm not sure if I'll end the vlog here or not. To be determined, oh, you can see my pimples here. Yeah, pretty great. There's one right there, but that one's kind of gone now. These ones were pretty big. Yep. <laughs> I had a little journey through Epcot during my run. Um, they made their way to Mexico now. They're eating um, at the Mexican restaurant in Mexico. Side note, because of my SVT, like every time I work out now, particularly running because that used to trigger me, like I'm just amazed that my heart doesn't go crazy. Like thank God for modern medicine. I'm the type of person that is very wary to take any sort of medications because I have like anxiety around it, like I'm a hypochondriac, so anytime I take a medicine, I'm like, I'm gonna get the side effects. I'm gonna die. Like with this one, I was like, I'm gonna have a heart attack because it's a heart medicine, but didn't happen. So just goes to show you, face your fears and conquer them. <laughs> okay, wow, my face is crazy. I'm gonna go take a shower for real this time.